Imagine a world engulfed by ice, a stark frozen expanse where survival was a daily gamble. This wasn't some distant alien planet, but Earth, our home, during the last ice age. For tens of thousands of years, massive glaciers carved across continents, locking away vast quantities of water and plunging global temperatures. Forests withered, giving way to barren steppes and tundras, and the very air grew thin and dry. It was a brutal test for all life, and for our ancestors, it was a challenge that pushed them to the absolute brink. You might have heard the staggering claim. At one point, humanity was reduced to a mere 1,000 individuals, a fragile flicker against the overwhelming darkness. While genetic research does point to incredibly severe population bottlenecks in our deep past, events that truly brought our species to the edge of extinction, sometimes predating the last ice age by hundreds of thousands of years, the last glacial maximum, around 6,500 to 19,000 years ago, saw a global human population that numbered in the millions, though fragmented and severely stressed. Even so, this period represented an unprecedented crucible. Regional populations faced immense pressures, experiencing their own dramatic declines and shifts. How did these scattered groups of resilient hunter-gatherers, armed with little more than ingenuity and an unbreakable will, managed to not just survive, but to ultimately thrive and lay the groundwork for everything that followed. This is the story of humanity's incredible endurance, a testament to our adaptability, cooperation, and the unyielding spirit that allowed us to navigate the frozen grip of the last ice age. The last ice age wasn't just a slight chill, it was an existential threat. Imagine vast sheets of ice, miles thick, grinding across continents, transforming lush landscapes into desolate, frozen wastelands. Global temperatures plummeted, averaging around 11 degrees Fahrenheit colder than today. This wasn't a gradual shift, it was a profound, pervasive cold that redefined every aspect of life. The world became an arid, dusty place. With so much water locked up in glaciers, Precipitation was drastically reduced, leading to widespread deserts and semi-deserts even in areas not directly under ice. The atmosphere itself was choked with dust, a constant reminder of the barren, eroding land. This extreme aridity meant that vital resources, especially fresh water and edible plants, became incredibly scarce, forcing our ancestors to constantly be on the move in a desperate search for sustenance. This brutal environment exerted immense pressure on human populations. As ice sheets expanded, habitable zones contracted, fragmenting groups and isolating them in ever-shrinking pockets of warmth and resources. This led to significant regional population declines and localized bottlenecks, where communities might have dwindled to very small numbers. While the idea of only 1,000 humans surviving refers to much earlier, deeper genetic bottlenecks or to the effective breeding population size across millennia, the LGM still delivered a severe blow. For many groups, it was a constant struggle against starvation, exposure, and the sheer unpredictability of a world utterly transformed by ice. The mere act of staying alive was a daily exhaustive endeavor. In a world defined by scarcity and extreme cold, our ancestors were forced to innovate and adapt their survival strategies. They weren't just living day to day. They were master strategists of the Ice Age, meticulously planning their every move, hunting and gathering in extreme environments. Survival hinged on a deep understanding of their environment and the creatures within it. Hunting became a highly cooperative and sophisticated endeavor. While spears were fundamental, new tactics emerged. Imagine groups working together, herding massive mammoths or giant deer into natural traps or dead ends. Then they'd employ specialized weapons, like the Brahmsha braced shaft weapons, potentially used by the Clovis people, essentially long sturdy pikes anchored into the ground, designed to inflict catastrophic injuries on charging beasts. This communal approach maximized efficiency and safety, allowing even less physically imposing members of the group to contribute. And when a successful hunt occurred, absolutely nothing went to waste. 
meat for sustenance, hides for warmth, bones for tools, and even marrow for vital fats. But it wasn't just about big game. A crucial shift, known as the Broad Spectrum Revolution, saw foragers expanding their diet to include a wider array of plant and animal foods. They learned to identify and process various wild cereals, tubers, acorns and legumes, even exploiting specific grasses thousands of years before formal agriculture began. Evidence from grinding stones shows they meticulously processed these plants, unlocking their nutritional value. Our ancestors also became adept at resource management. They likely used fire as a tool to shape landscapes, clearing brush to encourage new growth that attracted game, or simply to make travel easier. Food storage, a vital innovation, helped bridge the lean winter months. And in coastal regions, they smartly turned to marine resources, utilizing fish, shellfish, and seals, as evidenced by archeological finds. Advanced tools and technology, necessity truly was the mother of invention during the last ice age. Human innovation flourished, leading to a remarkable array of advanced tools and technologies. They perfected stone tool manufacturing, moving beyond simple flakes to create razor-sharp blades, finely crafted spearheads like the distinctive Clovis points that could be hafted onto wooden shafts. These tools weren't just for cutting. They included specialized burins and racloirs for working bone, antler, and hide. Beyond stone, they mastered working with bone and antler, fashioning essential items like sturdy awls, drills, and crucially, eyed needles. These tiny but revolutionary tools allowed for intricate sewing, enabling the creation of complex, multi-layered clothing essential for warmth. Other vital inventions included oil lamps for light and heat in dark caves, strong ropes for traps and carrying, sophisticated fishing nets, and barbed harpoons for hunting aquatic prey. These innovations weren't just practical, they showcased a remarkable level of foresight, planning, and abstract thought. Shelters and protective garments. Surviving the Ice Age wasn't possible without adequate shelter and clothing to combat the relentless cold. Our ancestors often sought refuge in natural caves and rock shelters, which provided immediate protection from the elements. Archaeological sites like those in Spain and France show prolonged occupation of these natural havens. However, they didn't just passively occupy these spaces, they actively modified them, building hearths for warmth and light and arranging living areas. In areas where caves were scarce, they constructed remarkably sophisticated built shelters. Imagine structures made from the massive bones of mammoths covered with animal hides, forming sturdy insulated dwellings that could withstand the harsh winds and snows of the Eurasian plains. Evidence of wooden structures also points to their ingenuity in engineering habitable spaces. Perhaps the most critical adaptation was clothing. While no actual garments from this far back have survived, indirect evidence, like the abundance of hide scrapers and the sudden appearance of eyed needles around 40,000 years ago, strongly suggests they wore complex, tailored clothing. This wasn't just simple wraps, it was likely multi-layered, fitted attire made from animal hides. Such intricate garments would have been vital for insulation, perhaps even resembling the sophisticated layering seen on Utzi the Iceman, a later example from the Bronze Age, who wore multiple types of animal skins sewn together for maximum protection. These elaborate clothing technologies were the ultimate defense against the biting winds and sub-zero temperatures, literally the second skin that allowed humanity to persevere. In the face of the Ice Age's relentless grip, what ultimately kept humanity from succumbing wasn't just individual ingenuity, but the profound power of community and an extraordinary capacity for cooperation. Social structures and cooperation. Ice Age, human groups were typically small, nomadic bands, rarely exceeding 50 individuals, often composed of extended families. In an environment rife with peril and scarce resources, Cooperation was key to survival. Communal hunting of large game required synchronized effort. Sharing food ensured no one was left behind, and collective defense protected the group from threats. These societies were often egalitarian, with little evidence of strict social hierarchies. Each member played a vital, respected role. There was a clear division of labor, 
men often undertook hunting and protection, while women focused on gathering, childcare, and processing food, tasks no less critical for sustaining life. Furthermore, they maintained flexible social networks. Groups frequently linked up with others to exchange information about distant resources, find mates, or simply to move together when conditions shifted. This ability to fission and fuse, where groups could break into smaller units when resources were scattered, and then come together in larger aggregations for abundant resources or major hunts, was a clever adaptive strategy, allowing them to optimize their survival under varying conditions. Geographical refugia. Amidst a globally frozen landscape, not every corner of the earth was uninhabitable. A crucial concept here is refugia. Geographical havens. These were areas where climate conditions were less severe, warm enough and resource rich enough for human and animal populations to persist, and from which they could later repopulate larger territories as the ice receded. These refugia offered ideal conditions, stable water sources, relatively warmer temperatures compared to surrounding regions, shelter from biting winds, and crucially, no pervasive permafrost. Key examples include in Europe, the southern peninsulas like Iberia, modern-day Spain and Portugal, Italy and the Balkans were vital. The southwestern French and northeastern Spanish regions in particular served as significant refuges. In North America, the lands south of the massive ice sheets were crucial, especially the southeastern United States and Beringia, the ancient land bridge connecting Asia and North America, which hosted a comparatively milder tundra environment. In Asia, regions like Sundaland, present-day maritime Southeast Asia, with its tropical rainforests, and certain warmer, wetter pockets in southern China provided sanctuary. Africa stands out as the only continent where Homo sapiens consistently persisted through multiple glacial cycles. Populations there adapted to diverse environments, ranging from savannas and woodlands to coastlines and mountainous terrain knowledge transfer and culture. To survive thousands of years of glacial cold, passing on knowledge across generations was paramount. Language played a pivotal role. It didn't just allow for complex communication and detailed hunting plans. It was the primary vehicle for transmitting vital survival wisdom. Cave art and symbolism serve as ancient knowledge repositories. The stunning paintings found in caves like Lascaux, France, and Altamira, Spain, weren't mere art. They were likely records of animal behavior, like mating or birthing seasons, effective hunting techniques, or even maps of resource-rich territories. There's even evidence of proto-writing systems, patterns of dots and lines accompanying animal depictions that might have recorded seasonal or cyclical information. Ultimately, Oral tradition was the main way skills, survival experiences, group histories, and other crucial knowledge were preserved and passed down. Stories told around the flickering campfire were not just entertainment. They were living classrooms, ensuring that hard-won lessons from the past would never be forgotten. This is how the lessons of survival were etched into the human mind, preparing them to face whatever the Ice Age could throw their way. The last Ice Age stands as a monumental chapter in humanity's story, a period when our very existence hung by a thread, though the 1,000 humans figure points to even earlier, more severe bottlenecks, the glacial epoch presented its own profound challenges, pushing regional populations to their absolute limits. Yet our ancestors didn't just cling to survival, they adapted, innovated and built societies that thrived against all odds. Their enduring legacy is etched into our very DNA and the cultural fabric of human civilization. From the mastery of sophisticated tools and tailored clothing, to the power of cooperation, social networks, and the vital transmission of knowledge through language and art, these strategies allowed humanity to emerge from the ice stronger and more diverse than ever. Their resilience is a powerful reminder of our species' incredible capacity to overcome even the most daunting environmental crises. If you found this journey through the frozen past as fascinating as we did, please hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into human history and survival.
Your support helps us continue to explore the incredible story of us.